Here we have a 2005 BMW 330CD convertible and sport in grey. Start with the offside front tyre. Tread wise, you can see looking at a good 4 to 5mm. Offside front alloy, looking at these lovely M Sport alloys. Not bad condition at all for its age. No real sign of any curbing, one or two minor scuffs, but like I said, nice condition for its age. Looking down the offside of the vehicle, we've got quite a few small dinks, also a small dent towards the rear quarter of the vehicle. Looking around the uh, offside front arch, you can see there's quite a few stone chips that are going to require some touchings. Also, a couple of scratches that will require polish. Drives door mirrors in nice condition. As you can see, there's a slight gap in between the bodywork there and the driver's door. It does close up there, but as you can see, there's a bit of a gap. It might be loose, so just be aware of that. Again, some touching is going to be required on the driver's door, as well as a couple of light scratches. As you can see, it is um, the cloth roof. It does appear to be in nice condition as well. Uh, moving towards the rear quarter of the vehicle, as you can see, there's quite a good size small dent um, just above the, um, the arch here. It's not that heavy, actually. It looks quite bad, but it isn't that heavy. As you can see, you've got quite a heavy scuff, though, on the rear arch. Rear tyre. Looking at around 3mm of tread and the offside rear alloy. Once again, no curbing um, or any scuff marks at all. A couple of scratches around the alloy, but again, good condition for its age. Moving towards the rear of the vehicle. Taking a look at the top of the boot, doesn't appear to be any dink stents or any damage there. Rear parking sensors, again, nice condition. A couple of light scratches on the back of the tailgate will require some polish. Some light scratches around the near side, you can see that might require some paint there. And on the near side rear quarter you can see got some deep scratches towards the bottom of the bumper. Apart from that, nothing too serious. Take a look inside the boot. Nice condition for his age again. But again, no spare wheel with the vehicle. But nice clean condition. Near side rear tyre. Looking at around 3mm of tread there. And the near side rear alloy. One or two light little marks, the alloy itself. Once again, we've got a little bit of curbing towards the outer edge of the alloy there. Nothing too heavy. And again, some curb marks that one side. Looking down the near side of the vehicle. It does actually look very clean down the near side. I can't see any dents. And I can't spot any dinks personally either. Again, there is some light scratches to the paintwork. A couple of touch-ins here and there to the door edges, etc. And once again, you can see the bit of a gap in between the door and uh, the sort of side skirt here you can see I don't know if it's uh, become loose but on this one it does show down the majority of the door deep scratch there on the passenger door I can get my nail into that that does stand out a couple of scratches to the mirror looking at the front arch again just some stone chips that require some uh, touch-ins and again around four to five mil on the front tire near side front alloy Bit of curbing there on the outer edge. Again, a couple of light scratches and one or two scuffs. We've run to the front end of the vehicle. As you can see, we've got some scratches down the near side front bumper. Quite a few scratches on the bumper again. As you can see, going all the way along the bumper here. And again, some stone chips to the bonnet. Now, there is quite a few stone chips dotted around the bonnet of the vehicle, as you can see there. And again, some stone chips to the front, and a little bit of a scuff mark there on the front quarter of the bumper. Taking a look at the interior of the car. Driver's door ha uh, handles a bit stiff. Full black leather interior. Not in bad condition at all. Bolsters that are slightly worn, and the leather, as you can see, is starting to show some signs of age. Electric memory seats, a couple of scratches there on the seat. And lifting back the seat here, you can see you've got the, uh, the sort of guard that flicks up here uh, when you've got the roof down. So again, that comes with a vehicle. Back seats are in lovely condition. As you can see, lovely and tidy. I've had a good look. No signs of any damage there. Nice condition. Front passenger seat again. Leather's just shown some signs of age. You've got the carbon fibre sort of trim inside. Dashboard, etc. is reasonably tidy. And the steering wheel's not in bad condition at all. For its age, either you've got uh, automatic headlights there, and you can see the door panels, etc. Just needs a good valet inside. Step inside the vehicle itself. Now, we do have two sets of keys with the vehicle. 
as you can see here, so two keys with the car and just getting the vehicle started up for you no issues at all starting the vehicle to start first time we are looking at 77,462 miles on the clock, so not too bad for its age and again no symbols appear on the dash and the car runs very nicely multifunction steering wheel again, not in bad condition at all CD and radio and it was like, oh Everything's uh, functioning very well there. No issues to saw with the blowers. Again, you've got your air conditioning light indicating there that it's on and off. Manual transmission. And again, I have put the roof down. It works perfectly fine. There's no issues at all. And uh, that's in good working order. All the windows, etc. work perfectly fine as well. Taking a look at the paperwork. Looking at the V5 for the vehicle. The car's had four owners. So four owners on the vehicle. MOT until June 26, 2015. And service history wise, as you can see, got a blue bell stamp there at 16. Not sure the mileage on that one. Uh, 23 there. 38, 58. Again, only one franchise stamp there. And that was the last service, unfortunately, at 58,000 miles. There we have it, guys. That is the 2005 BMW 330D M Sports convertible with the enhanced Bluetooth as well, which is a nice feature. Uh, car runs very well decent mileage for its age and it's not in bad condition at all.